Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens has come to an end, and to send it off, we're going to be playing Rush Duel using cards all throughout the Sevens era. Each week, myself and the Dr. Alex will open five packs of each Sevens core set and add a single card from each pack to our collection. We will then build decks and play a best of three, with the loser banning one card and the winner gaining seven points. The first player to reach 49 points, or seven wins, earns the title of Sevens Champion. Welcome to Rush Duel Sevens Draft. Yeah, I will ban uh, Ancient Arise, Defense Mission, and uh, Ice Age. What was it? Ice Age Catapult. Ice Age Catapult. Okay, so you're taking out two of my boss monsters, which are both water boss monsters as well. And you're getting rid of my really good generic trap monster destruction. Okay. Yeah. I think they're all good bans. Um, I just wonder how long Dragius will haunt you. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Seven's Draft. Last week we managed to take yet another win with our water deck, which means we now have 5 wins back to back to back to back to back, which is really really good. We weren't actually expecting to, we weren't, we weren't expecting to win. We hoped we'd win and we still did try to build the best water deck that we could, but we weren't fully confident in it. So the fact we managed to still take the win is really really good. Now we also predicted that Alex wouldn't try and just rip apart our water deck because our water strategy is still not, it's not entirely there. So his bans actually hit some more of our generic cards, uh, excluding Catapult. So he banned Ancient Arise Dragon, which we'd, we were just going to play in pretty much any deck that we got. He banned our Hard Defense Mission, which again is a really strong generic trap card that destroys any monster with 2500 attack. And he banned our Ice Age Catapult. Now Ice Age Catapult, although it is kind of integral to the water strategy, it doesn't kill the deck and it's a really annoying card for Alex to deal with if we do keep playing the water deck so I can understand the ban. So we are still kind of in the same mindset we've been in, which is we really need to try and get some more worms, some more dinos, which again are cards that Alex is on, which is why I think it might really surprise him if we do get them out. And he has been very reluctant to ban cards that both of us share, such as Ectasis Caliglion, such as our uh, Multi-Strike Dragon Dragius. So we're going to still try and go down that route and we still have a couple of other strategies to go for but they're going to be primarily what we're going for so we're just going to jump on in with our 60 packs and start the chaos draft now let's see what we get first pack folder blitz unfortunately not particularly useful for us and block attack is banned uh which doesn't leave us with a whole lot of option i think we might actually take folder blitz because there is a there is a very slight chance that we go back to psychics towards the end to try and just catch Alex off guard and try and surprise him. So I think we'll take we'll take we'll take fold blitz. It's an ultra rare, and you never know. It might it might come up. Next pack. Oh my god. Oh Alex, bro, I am so oh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. This is my third multi-strike dragon Dragius. He has to ban this. He he has to ban this card. I'm, I'm sorry, you have to ban this card. You have to ban it. <laughs> oh my, just, oh, that's disgusting. Next pack. Oh my god. How are my hyperspeed, my hyperspeed rush road packs specifically have always been insane. We're taking it. That's that's our new, that's our new rush, our new legend. And it's another, just another rush rare. Which is, yeah. Can we get even crazier pulls now? Hammer crash. <laughs> Generic spell trap removal. Yes, I will take it. I... <laughs> this is stupid. This is dumb. I'm sorry. All right. Extra transcendent power up pack. Let's see what you got for us. Ooh. I think we take the fusion, right? We've been waiting to get fusion this whole time. I think we just take the second. As much as I really want to take the Gracosaurus, I think fusion is just too important to not take. Next up, the Star Dragon. If we are allowed to keep playing the dragons, we will take the Star Dragon. Imagine if I get the uh, the fusion now. Come on, Draggy Star F. Oh, I got so excited then. It's Arc Talk. Arc Talk is good. Uh, we don't have the fusion material for it yet. 
I think we take it. It's a rush rare. Like, the chances of it coming up again are quite low. And if we do manage to summon it, it'll be really funny. So we'll just take that. Next up, another fusion. And the star barrier. Oh, that's actually a hard one. I want both of these cards. I think we take fusion because it's the rare. We've been trying to get it since... Well, we got one on week one. And this is the only other time we've seen them come up. So we're going to take the fusion. But I, I'm missing the star barrier. All right, last pack. My, that's the third hyper upstart king rep hyper upstart king rex that's shown up and we still haven't seen a single super king rex hmm all right i i believe in my dinos and i'm going to take this knowing that the super king rex will show up eventually it will it will show up next up we have Secret red trap hole. Oh. <laughs> I think we take it, right? We take the red trap hole. That's a second. That's another good legend for the week. That makes blue eyes a little bit worse, but. Next pack. Oh, there he is. Constructed Demolition Worm Dracrush. I believe that'll be our first. Yeah, that's our first Dracrush. So we'll just take that. Final pack. Oh, Celebrontosaurus is cool, but I think it's got to be Upstart. Upstart's so good. And with that... Alright, that is our main set pulls done for the week. We started off pretty rough, I think. Like, nothing really big to mention. We did get some more cards for our fire deck. Uh, Zuba Babata and Cross Promotion, which are pretty cool. We we got some okay cards. We got uh, Pizza Blistopia, which is really good for the worm strategy. Uh, and we also got Constructor Ambush and our third copy of Big Roller. Then everything kind of slowed down again uh, until we got all the way down to our Hyperspeed Rush Road, which is just insane. Max Raider is not very good on its own, but with some cards we get in the future, this card could be really strong. Our third copy of Multi Strike Dragon Drag, yes, because the pack opener loves us. We then pulled back to back with it another Rush Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is just insane, and Hammer Crush. So we just got completely spoon fed there. Uh, we got some decent cards. We got another Beast Gear to go towards our Beast Gear deck, some more Dinosaur support, two copies of Fusion, and two really strong Fusions. Unfortunately, we still do not have Arc Talk or Super King Rex, but one day, one day, we still have our second copy of the Star Dragon in case, for whatever reason, Alex still doesn't ban our Dragius. With three copies of Fusion, three copies of Dragius, two copies of the Star Dragon, we now just need the Fusion itself, Dragius Star F. We also got a, another Legend in Trap Hole, a really, really strong card. We got some more Dinosaur support, including Upstart King Rex, but more importantly, we got Constructor Demolition Worm Dracrush, which can go with our Bill Dragon, which means we can pretty much mirror all of Alex's worms if we want to, which is pretty insane. So I am quite happy with these pulls. I think... It was looking quite dire, and then Hyperspeed Rush Road just really sorted us out, and we're pretty chuffed. I mean, I think with three Dragius in our deck, I'm not sure if Alex was going to be able to take an episode, to be honest. This is, the pack open has just given me everything we want. So uh, let's go and open our side set, I guess. <laughs> so a side set for this week is Battle Pack Volume 3. I don't believe there's a lot in there. I think there's a few field spells. Um, there's not really much we're overly looking for. Then we'll just fire on in and just see what we get. Let's have a gander. First pack, Umi or Flame Swordsman. Flame Swordsman would be funny. Uh, Umi actually has a little bit of relevance to our pool, so we'll take that. Next pack, Flame Swordsman or Honey Hannah Waffle. So this is a Pyro Earth. I, I think we're going to take Flame Swordsman. I don't see myself using Honey Waffle, and Flame Swordsman is just funny. Next pack, oh, we're taking the super rare Cyber Soldier of Dark World because it is a machine card, and we are trying to build a machine deck. Next pack, uh, we'll take the third mountain. Three mountains is nice. We got quite a lot of big dragons. And looks like a second Umi. So, two Umis is interesting. I don't know if we'll want to be running both Umis and three copies of big Umi. Uh, but Umi does have the benefit of boosting thunder types. So there's always that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm quite happy with this, I guess. I don't think we can use Flame Swordsman, but let's, uh, let's fire on into deck building. So, this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. So this deck is basically the deck we brought last week with a few extra dragons thrown in. So Alex did ban a couple of our boss monsters, including Ancient Arise, which would have been really good for this deck since it is a big dragon. But, 
What he didn't ban was our Illusion Strike Dragon Miragius or our Multi Strike Dragon Dragius. Now this week we pulled Blue Eyes White Dragon and we pulled an extra copy of Dragius. Because of this, we have such a large number of high level dragons and because obviously we lost a couple of our other boss monsters for this deck, that it seemed appropriate to throw them in and just kind of replace the cards that we lost with these really powerful dragon cards. Now we'd like to be playing a whole dragon deck, but a lot of the dragon support cards are locked behind things like starter deck Luke, which we just don't have access to in the series. So the core of the deck is going to be these water cards, same as last week. So if we go with a card by card, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Alex has this card as well. It'll be really cool if we can get a Blue Eyes White Dragon like clash and we just get them both on the field at the same time. But either way, I'm sure Alex would be surprised to see this. We are on Water Magician. This is just a strong water monster, 1400 attack. We are on our fish core, so we're on the two enchanted mermaid, three heat dart fish, and two jet barracuda. We are still on the ancient turtle protector because it's got 1400 defense and it's a water monster. Ectus is Caliglion. We didn't manage to summon this last week, but this card is incredibly strong, especially in this kind of format. And if we do summon it, I do expect we will just be able to take that game unless Alex has a very specific out to it. We are on the illusion strike dragon mirror gears. This card's effect requires us to discard a level seven or higher dragon type monster from our hand, which is why we have maxed out on our dragons. We have blue eyes white dragon, the two mirror gears, the three dragius, and the Stockbuster the Terror Striking Dragon. So we could have included our other Stockbuster the Terror Striking Dragon, but I do think Headbutt Catchlot is good enough on its own to warrant it having a spot. So Mirror Gears can select up to two face up level seven or lower monsters on your opponent's field and they lose 1500 attack. And then you can attack two monsters during that turn. Really, really strong effect if we can get it off. Multi-Strike Dragon Dragius is easier to use and it can attack directly, but it doesn't weaken your opponent's monsters. Either way, Multi-Strike Dragon Dragius is one of the best cards in the game. So the fact that we now have three of it is actually insane. And if Alex gets another chance to ban this card and doesn't, then I think we might actually just 7-0 because this card is just completely insane. Headbutt Cashalot, send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. One face at monster in your opponent's field loses 500 attack until the end of the turn. And then possibly do an extra 500. That other effect isn't really that relevant. But being able to reduce the attack of a monster is just really, really strong. It's water and it is a sea serpent, so it interacts with a lot of our spells and traps. Stockbuster is in here basically just because it's a dragon. We don't really want to even summon this thing. We want to discard it for an effect. Sea Dragon Knight, again, it, it fits the theme and it does interact with a lot of our spells and traps but its effect is going to be mostly useless alex doesn't have that many extra copies of spell and traps that he's currently on so i don't know how useful this card's going to be katoi miruka we are now on four targets for this card so hopefully its effect will go off we can send an umi or big umi from our hand to the graveyard to draw a card this is especially good because we need them in the graveyard to activate our dolphin counter sea dragon kranadros this card again its effect is mostly useless it is in here because it is a water and because it is a sea serpent Anchor Moray, if you have Umi or Big Umi facing the field, add a level 3 or lower fish type normal monster from a graveyard to our hand. We now have an extra target for that, giving us a grand total of 7. We are on Wash Spray of the Clean Skateer. You normal summon this card this turn, your opponent has a face up level 7 or higher monster on their field. Shuffle a Bleach Mortar from your graveyard into the deck and draw a card. We now have an extra copy of Bleach Mortar, so this card should hopefully be a bit more consistent. Drawing a card is always nice. Acro Boost, if you have Umi or Big Umi face up on your field, one face up fish monster on your field gains attack equal to the number of face up fish type monsters on your field times 300. Again, I'm not sure how useful this card's going to be, but it does kind of fit in with the theme, and we could use this to gain 900 attack on any of these monsters, which means our Enchanting Mimi could have got up to 21 and maybe attack over something that's a bit sticky. Crank to 10, just a really good generic card, discard a monster, gain 400 attack, gain piercing, really, really strong. Bleach Mortar, again, your opponent has to have a level 7 or higher monster on their field to use it, which is kind of annoying, but making anything lose 500 attack again is really really strong and will just allow us to attack over something and if alex has something like a 2500 attacker we could make it 2100 and attack over one of our own 2500 attackers instead of having to crash the star power up shuffle three monsters from going into the deck one face monster against 500 attack and defense generic power up really really strong card big umi this card is kind of annoying to play. Activate if you have three face-up water attribute monsters. Getting three water attribute monsters can be a bit annoying. So if we do manage to get this out, all face-up non-water attribute monsters lose 300 attack and defense. We're then on Umi. This card buffs our water monsters. Unfortunately, this could buff some of Alex's cards because this does buff Fish, Sea Serpent, Thunder, and Aqua. So if Alex is on any of those, this could end up buffing him. But this is mainly in here to turn on a lot of our other effects. So we'll see how it goes. Worst case scenario, we can slide it out. 
we are still on Music Princess solo performance. We've had in this deck since week one, and this card has been really, really strong for us. Just being able to negate an attack out of nowhere is really, really good. Dolphin Counter, one of the best cards in our deck. When your opponent's monster declares an attack targeting your face-up fish or sea serpent monster, shuffle one Umi or big Umi from a graveyard into the deck, destroy one monster on the opponent's field. Generic destruction is really, really strong. Just being able to pop a monster in this kind of format is especially powerful, let alone in Constructed, where this card also seems like it would be really, really good. The Star Barrier. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, shuffle one monster from a graveyard into the deck, the attacking monster loses 400 attack. This is, again, just... This is generic combat trick generic combat trick in this kind of format is insane anything generic is really 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 strong for us so in the side deck we have some of the monsters that we've taken out because they just they didn't seem to do that much for us last week and they overall seem a bit weak so we're going to leave them in the side for now we've replaced them with the dragons we'll see how that ends up being we have a lot of our anti-defense cards uh, in case alex does bring back something like throne of darkness we just want a way to be able to just get through if he does just throw something with a big butt down uh, we're still on our Ancient Barrier in case Alex has brought a load of traps. Like, for example, if he goes onto like Dolphin Counters of his own, we want a way to not have all of our monsters die. Mountain, again, is probably not going to come in, but we're only playing it because Alex really knows we have it. And the same with Emergency Return. So, this deck seems to me like it is stronger than last week. We have three Dragius now and the Blue Eyes. I feel quite confident that if we manage to draw our Dragiuses, we will win the game. That that was the story of last week. Last week, we drew Dragius, we attacked, we won. That was that was basically it. Because Dragius is just such a powerful card. So I'm feeling more confident than I was last week. So let's see if we can go in and win our sixth game in a row. So remember what I said to you after I did my pulls? No. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry. Oh. Because I think I did very well on pulls this week. And you'll probably understand why... I mean, it depends if I draw the cards, right? But let's just say I, I'm feeling confident this week. Uh, more so than I was last week. So... Okay. Let's jump on in. Uh, yeah. Uh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just can never beat your rock, paper, scissors. Right, I will set. And then... We'll pick them. Bell Dragon... Drill Lizard. Okay, so big 2500 beta. Um... Alright, I'm going to normal summon Enchanting Mermaid. Ooh. I'm going to summon Heat Dartfish. And I'm going to summon Jet Barracuda. I'm going to activate Bleach Mortar and weaken this guy. Then. Ah. See, I've re I've misread a tiny little line on one of my cards. Uh, which means I cannot activate my set card. So this was a <laughs> slight misplay, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's still good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure my field of weenies is going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. And, uh, well. Oh, Ooh, both the boys. Slugger out. And we will. Start. Has effect. Um, field. Off. Yeah, it needs a. Just has to be on the field, so my field spells will turn them on as well, apparently. Yeah. Okay, what do we do with this? We will. Set. <laughs> and then tribute to summon. Ooh. Illusion Strike Dragon Miragius. Yeah, you have a little back seven card. dragon in hand. No. We will summon Water Magician, set a back row, and are we setting this? I think we will set this. We'll then get a battle. And we will attack over your Sports Dragon Slugger, and then attack over your Pitcher. And then pass back to you. Okay. Oh. 
We'll have a lovely little staring contest with our 2500s. Um... Oh, I will activate. Wow. Blistopia. That's the worst thing you could have drawn. Um, well, activate Sword Foreman. Sword okay, making some nice. room to play another spell trap. Set. And go to battle. Okay, so no more monsters. So all I have to do is draw out uh, a 3,000 attack monster, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, One exists. <laughs> I set, oh. and then I tribute summon a 3,000 attack hey! monster. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice. this is uh, my new legend card that I pulled. Um, question now becomes, can it actually break through? We do have a lot of back row. We will attack into it. I'm expecting a constructor return. Oh no. Unless constructor returns normal monsters, I don't remember. Attack you directly and pass. I genuinely don't think there is a better card I could have drawn there. Okay, double tribute, here we go. And uh <laughs> this is sick. Oh, blue eyes be blue eyes, baby. Bring it off. I said this during my deck breakdown. I was like, it'd be really cool if we both get our blue eyes out at the same time. Second. Well, there she goes. Poor water magician. Uh, uh, uh. That's <sighs> Monster I'm able to get out at the minute. Um Well my hand is pretty cracked, I'm not gonna lie. Um if you've got in your grave. Nothing of super note. We will set this. Then I'll tribute two to summon Ectasis Caliglion. Oh. Then I'm gonna activate Crank to ten. Discard to boost. Might as well boost in. Uh, then I'm going to activate the star power up, which lets me shuffle some cards back into my deck, and in exchange, I can give it another little power boost, I'm going to put it on him just in case. Set this, go to battle, and we will attack with blue eyes, into blue eyes, and then get at you with Ectasis, and pass. Oof. I think uh, I... Oh, no, no, that's... Think yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, I mean, 3,000. And 3, full of spell, spell trap and tributes. Ah, oh, that always sucks. Nah, GG. I don't GG, think I've been able to go over both Blue Eyes and Kegleon anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these are both... Re I mean, you have both of these cards as well. <laughs> They're both really, really strong cards. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Set. 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 End. Okay, I've got a lot of cards at your hand. Oh, that is. I'll set. I'll set. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I'll set. Set. And then tribute to to summon Headbutt Cachalot. Um, so I can't okay. use his effect because you need a face-up monster, but we can crash into one of these. Ooh, Lindemule. Uh, we'll pass. Yeah. Uh, one oh, of my yeah. pulls for the week. It's a worm. It looks like a um, Cyburst, doesn't it? Yeah. I look at it and I'm like, that's, that's a Cyburst monster. Okay, let's activate Spectral Shangala. Okay. Uh, normal summon Little Dragon. Ooh, okay. Activate his effect. Tribute that for another big one. 
No, unfortunately not. Ah, that would have been sick. Uh, activate... Blastopia. Oh. So I was, I was thinking you were going to tribute to summon Dracrush, then get rid of the field spell for that field spell, and I was going to be like, that would be the sickest play. <laughs> well, this is the baby version of yeah. that, and it's still really good. Whoop. Be over the whale. I'm getting 15. Oh, 15 as well. It's just, just big enough to be really annoying. Uh, all right, we have... Oh, what do we do with this? This is actually a little bit tricky. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to set two. Then I'm going to tribute them to summon Illusion Strike Dragon Mirror Gears. Going to mm -hmm. activate his effect. Oh, you have a seven in hand. Oh, no, it only works on seven or less. That's fine. That's fine. We have the Bleach Mortar. Go to battle. We will attack over. Construct a return. Yeah, there's not a lot we can do about that. That is no longer weakened. <laughs> but we can get rid of this and pass. Oh, okay. I, I didn't realize this was seven or less. The problem is being unable to read cards. <laughs> uh, well. Hmm. Okay. I mean, you could you Drill could do good. nothing and still out all my board. Not <laughs> dragon pitcher. Yep. Tribute to for my own mirror gears. Oh. No, mirror gears, drag gears. Okay, so currently his effect is kind of irrelevant. So that's at least one thing I've got in for me. And well, activate. Yeah. So four, 4.4k 4 to the dome. I mean, ugh, I could still draw something, but drawing another out to 29 is not going to be easy. Or, you know, you just draw the out. <laughs> um, get lucky on the day. Yeah, just get lucky on the day. That's the trick. Well, so... Things that I think I could get over that with, right? Blue Eyes, Ectasis, Galigleon, um, maybe like Dolphin Counter. Uh, mm. I'm trying to think of what other cards I could use. Um, all right, we will activate, well, summon, Wash Sprayer. The Clean Skateer activates effects. We actually have a Bleach Mortar in the Grave. Then we will set and Tribute to to summon Ectasis, Galigleon. I'll set. Oh, I have no idea what your back row is. If it's anything disruptive. Like anything at all. I think I have to set this card. Go to battle. And I need to try to get rid of Bill Dragon. Or is he going to stay gone? He is. Okay, pass the turn. I couldn't get him above 3k. Which means if you can summon a blue eyes, you can crash. If you get out your own emphasis, uh, you'll be weaker than me at the moment. Oh. That. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know what your face stands are as well. We've had them set for so long. Okay. Okay. Um, option is to risk it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, that back row is nothing. Oh, it is. Yes. <laughs> So my back, row, my back row was a dolphin counter, right? And when you slap down your card, because the art looks so similar to the um, the one that changes to attack mode, 
I was like, oh god, he's going to change my defense monster to attack and attack over me because you had enough attack to just game me anyway. Yeah. Um, and my back row was dolphin counter and my face down's a fish, so I could have actually used that to counter it. But because you specifically had two copies of that, I was like, oh fuck, I can't do anything about this. <laughs> oh, alright, game three. Well, both the games, it's been Ectasis Galeglion's been the uh, the problem card, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we will go first. Um, all right, I will normal summon my Katoi Maruka and activate its effect. Discard the draw. Then I will normal summon Ankamore. Mm -hmm. I will tribute to some Dragius, set defense, set back row, and pass. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Up two in defense, and pass. Mm hmm. What's in your hand? If it was a monster, I feel like this said it. It's a two tribute monster that doesn't have enough attack to get over Dragius, maybe? Alright, well, I'm going to... Set this. Then, Alex, I tribute mm -hmm. two monsters to summon Dragius. Oh no. <laughs> Can I take both of their effects? And then normal summon... Sea Dragon Knight, which will trigger your silly trap hole. And I will summon my mermaid, which will silly, silly trigger your other one. <laughs> Ace tick. <laughs> which only targets effect monsters. Ah, right. I never... Level 3 or lower. This is a level 3 or lower non-effect monster. It's like almost the same thing. <laughs> Alright. Dragius number 1. Dragius number 2. Dragius number 1. Dragius number two. Ah, uh, that's rough. Chanting mermaid. Oh, and then we pass to you. Uh, I mean, yeah. One, two. Skiddle diddle. Blue Ooh. eyes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I should have emptied my hand a little more. No mind. I have to get, try and get rid of one of these. Fortunately, I do have a trap I could activate, but it does not deal with that. Alright. I will... Set. Then I will tribute to... Summon... Miragius, whose effect would not work on Blue Eyes regardless. But I do have... Oh, Bleach more. Which I believe is going to be game. Yeah. Summon that. Set that. Back to that I can. Go to battle. Attack. And go for game. Oh. <sighs> Man, just, I don't. That's the thing. Double Dragius is so oppressive, right? Because suddenly it's like, oh, I can play a bunch of defense monsters. It's like, well, yeah, but I can attack you four times. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's just, it's completely bonkers. Um, to be honest, I don't. As soon as I slapped down the second Dragus, I was like, oh no. Like, this is a, this is going to be a rough one for Alex to overcome. I mean, you did manage to get the blue eyes, which is exactly what I did to you as well, right? That's how I outed your, um, Bill Dragon. Uh, and you were able to kill one of them. It's just a real shame that I had the Bleach Mortar face down. Because, uh, my yeah, back row yeah. that I had that I could activate was the Star Barrier. But it reduces the attack by 400. <laughs> and I was like, 400 <laughs> is not going to cut it. <laughs> so, um, so you know, I said, um, I, was, I was feeling confident this week, right? Yeah. So obviously you saw the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, which was, it was instrumental in that first game, I would say, very much so. Uh, but that wasn't the only really strong card I pulled. Okay. And it was from the same set as Blue Eyes, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's from the same set as Blue Eyes. It was from Hyperspeed Rush Road, which is that set has been there for me. Like it just it keeps spitting out 
crazy powerful cards. So I pulled my third copy of Dragius. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so now I am on Blue Eyes, Triple Dragius, two uh, Mirror Gears. So uh, I think you're going to have maybe a rough time deciding what to ban. Well, maybe you'll be, be easy. I think a big problem is now that a lot of the cards that I've got, you've also got. Like, you, you had Ectasis, which was, like, such a powerful card, but now I've got it. And then you have Dragius, but now I've got three Dragius. And you've got Blue Eyes, but now I've got Blue Eyes. So, oh, it's, it's, it's a tricky one. It's definitely a tricky one. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> GG, man. GG.